Hello, everyone, and thank you for coming to my session. I'm the last. They saved the best for last. <laughs> OK, I have good news for developers who want to make their own application with 360 camera, especially Q360 camera. Uh, before we start it, I'm going to share two famous uh, video clips. Okay. Yeah, come give me a hug. Yeah, that's a 360 video camera. This is modern walking. Hey, give me a hug. Can I get a hug? Oh, yeah. Do you know who he is? Yeah, the baby of Mr. Zuckerberg. They share the precious moment at Facebook as a 360 video. Okay. What we wanted to do was to make sure that everybody felt they had access to it, that uh, it, it wasn't just the well-connected or somebody who knew a member of Congress. Okay, this is Mr. President Obama, a period to message. It also has a 360 uh, video. Uh, as you can see, uh, 360 video is becoming uh, becoming more powerful communication tool among the people. So in this context, I will talk about the, about the 360 imaging and SDK. OK, why speaker imaging? Uh, the big difference and the beauty of 360 is there is no limit of angle view. You can capture not only the you want to, you also capture surroundings. So you can take it and evoke the feeling and emotions at that time. You can preserve your precious memory, like a family vacations, a children's event, and something like that. And also you have some immersive experience if you got the, some like uh, Gear 60, uh, gear, uh, gear VR, or something like that. And these days, Facebook and Samsung VR and YouTube also support the 360 imaging content. OK, uh, there are a lot of 360 cameras in the market. But as you know, it's like a, a bulky and not easy to handle. But our world is very cute and affordable, and yet powerful. It can get the true 4K video, 360 video, not just the video. And you might notice that it's our second version of 360 camera. Uh, Compared to previous product, it has a lot of improvement and a lot of advantages. Like uh, through 4K video, it also supports live streaming event. So your invited friend can see what what can uh, you, your invited friend see what you see at all the time and all uh, omnidirectional uh, angle of view. But the problem is. There is no way to put your idea and imagination. They have to use it as a given form. That's why we need SDK over Gear 360. OK, uh, that's a brief about the, our Gear 360 SDK. It's main classes and feature list. Uh, there are a lot of feature, like connection, and like getting device information, setting, study period, or something like that. The baseline is you have to make your own version of Gear 360 manager by your own purpose or something like that. And as I said earlier, uh, we, today uh, we release Android version and iOS version of SDK. In near future, we have to provide PC version and Mac version also. Yeah, this is a uh, brief sample code of uh, connection. Uh, to work with Gear 360 you have to start with discovery and connection. This show how to uh, connect it, uh, with uh, Gear 360. And this part is a uh, very important function of Gear 360. Preview. Preview. To make a preview, we have to stitch front and rear image and make one image. Uh, if you know one more, uh, please visit our code lab site. You can get, the, uh, you can get some coding experience and make some joy. OK, this is a very important part and highlight of this uh, today's talk. 
we have a lot of use cases, and uh, I'll just show you some other possibility. We have one thing. One thing is uh, we have one-stop 360 video editing tool. And second thing is we have a personal 360 video broadcasting solution. And uh, we add it to the 360 camera to IoT Echo, and we got this 360 remote monitoring system. The last thing is uh, Everscape has three tour. 3D tour of real estate, they also add our 360 and camera to their own uh, platform. So, at this part, I introduce Emory to introduce they, what they did. Hi, I'm Emory, co founder of uh, V360. Um, how many of you have a GoPro in a drawer somewhere? in your house. So a few years ago, I bought a GoPro. I was super excited, did a ton of footage, but after six months, I stopped. I ended with a gigabit of clips in memory cards, but nothing to edit it uh, very easily. One year and a half ago, thanks to the Insider program, we got a Gear 360, the first one, and we were super excited. So I started to shoot again and again, and after six months, I stopped. It was too painful. I had tons of clips on memory card, but again, nothing to edit it smoothly. And we knew that we can solve that problem. We have been working on storytelling apps for the past four years. So end of last year, we decided to create the first native 360 video editing app. We launched it uh, last March. We got a lot of positive feedback. Uh, thousands of uh, video was shared, and uh, uh, something was still missing. So the process wasn't that smooth. You had to shoot in one app, transfer your clip in your phone, then open a second app to edit it. That's why we are super excited to announce today that we integrated the Gear 360 SDK in our app. So now you can shoot, edit, and share with, within a single app. So we, thank you. So we make 360 video easy and fun. We are V360 and you can come to see us at the VR booth. Thank you. Okay, thank you. Okay, uh, this is uh, just only mobile 360 uh, broadcasting applications. Uh, Africa TV is a one a top tier company uh, provide mobile broadcasting solution in Korea. They also add the 360 camera to their own existing platform, make it as a new 360 mobile broadcasting solution. Uh, they are planning on actual service end of this year, so please welcome the new kind of 360 mobile broadcasting applications. Okay, uh, this is a very great example of how we can add 360 camera to IoT, IoT Echo, IoT system, and something like that. And Gear 360 can be add one of the thing of a cloud like uh, Samsung Connect and in act like uh, omnidirectional uh, camera. You can take a photo, you can get the live streaming remotely, not just the image, 360 video. Also, we can add some IoT, IoT sensor of IoT, it can the, the motion detection and open detection or something like that. It command the take a picture to the Gear 360, you can get the picture remotely, including in the IoT echo. Okay, uh, this is the last part of the real use cases. I introduced James pro, from Everscape. Okay, here we go. Great. Hi, I'm Jim Schoonmaker. I'm CEO of Everscape, uh, probably one of the coolest companies you've never heard of. Um, our biggest claim to fame is we pioneered Google Street View uh, about 10 years ago, and since then have been focused largely on indoor street view, 
uh, for the travel and hospitality and local search markets. Um, but one of the markets that we always were really interested in and people kept telling us we should use our software for was real estate. But it had a problem. Uh, and the problem was, had two problems actually. The first problem was a 3D tour was too expensive and took too much time to actually have a real estate agent build this for every one of their listings. And the Gear 360 hardware and the SDK that they're provided to us has gone a long way to solving that problem, to where the average cost of a 3D tour for a home is going to go from $500, which is where it is today, to $50. Um, and that's really going to make a dramatic change in the real estate industry. The second problem, though, was real estate agents really didn't like you touring a home in isolation. They want to collaborate. They want to hear your feedback. They want to understand why you like a home or what you like about it and use that information in order to do a better job of showing you a different home. Um, and so for that, since real estate agents are the ones actually buying these 3D tours, it was important for us to solve that problem. So we developed something we call the Collaborative Experience Engine, which allows many people to experience that 3D tour simultaneously. So imagine a real estate agent, you the homeowner, your spouse, your home inspector, all inside the home at the same time, seeing what each other sees, interacting with each other, and communicating back and forth about what you think. And those are the three important layers of the Collaborative Experience Engine. So the first one is the synchronization engine, which allows everyone to see what each other sees. So I could be in the living room, you could be in the dining room, I will know that. Even though I might be on my couch in Lexington, Massachusetts, and you guys might be out here at the Moscone Center. Um, second of all is the interaction layer. So I, as a real estate agent, might want to show you what the backyard actually looks like. Today that's actually quite difficult to do over the phone. But if I had the tools of the interaction layer, you can simply just follow me. I can go to the backyard, and we can go there together, just like we would in the real world. And the last one is the collaboration layer, uh, excuse me, the communication layer, which is where we actually talk back and forth about what we think about the home. So uh, enough about me talking. Uh, the demos that we have of this collaborative experience engine and the tools that we've used with the, the Gear 360 are on the third floor uh, and is very cool. Uh, my name is Jim Skinmaker, uh, and I'm from Everyscape, and uh, we are one of the coolest companies you have now heard of. So please spread the word. Thank you very much. Thank you. <laughs> okay, do you want to run more? I just visit second floor exhibition floor. Okay, uh, actually I have one more thing. Due to the time limit, I including my regular session. Uh, we have HTML5 solution, very cool thing. You can get an include. You can implement web miner or something like that. Uh, please visit our uh, second uh, third pro. Uh, please show. Uh, please check what they, what have we done with 360 SDK and what are planning to. Thank you. Thank you for coming.